Petey Beats here from Pop Turner Speed to Nazari Demkovich about the Elevator game, which is streaming now on Shudder. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's awesome to meet you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. It's always a crazy thing because you audition, you book a movie, you go shoot this thing in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. You play the waiting game and now people are able to see it on Shudder which is like the horror movie kind of playground for horror movie fans. Like, right? is it all starting to kind of sink in right now? It's it's insane, honestly. Like, just from the moment, uh, you know, while we were filming, there was a deadline article came, that came out. So that was my first deadline. So that was kind of like a, a hitter there, which was an awesome experience. And then, obviously, after post-production, the trailer came out. So that was another kind of like, oh, my gosh, lift me up moment. This is actually happening. And now it's finally out. So yeah, it's it's starting to sink in, and uh, I'm loving it. It's it's awesome. What was your kind of knowledge or interest with like horror movies and like Shutter like before signing on to Elevator Game? Because I feel like it's fifty fifty. Some people really love them. Some people can't watch them. Like, what's your relationship with horror movies? Yeah. So you know, when I was little, I never really used to watch horror movies because of the obvious example of your parents not wanting to you to watch them so exactly. you go to bed at night and that kind of thing but uh you know eventually since more than more of them came into town i uh, got more experience with them i kind of saw uh, that horror itself is an art form in itself right it's completely yep. different genre from everything else obviously and so that kind of brought along a particular interest along with it because you know, watching a horror movie is one thing, but actually being on set and seeing how those like special effects or prosthetics or whatever, what have you are actually created and made, that's a whole other thing. So it's honestly, uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's a different type of fun. Elevator Game, which is streaming now on Shudder, it's a fun horror movie and everything. How did it read when you're reading the script for it? Because there's always going to be kind of different kind of interpretations and different feelings, I feel like, from a storytelling perspective right. when you read something on script and then you kind of before you go and like film it right so what was it like kind of reading the script and like specifically your character because your character is pretty quirky kind of all over yeah. the place a lot of characters when we meet them it's like zero to 100 right we like just get thrown into it right <laughs> yeah exactly so uh funny story when i first uh went into the audition for the part uh there was actually a completely different script mm -hmm. so the role was uh, a type of he wasn't a true believer of all these ghosts and demons and all that kind of stuff. But he was on the contrary that he didn't believe all of this thing. It's like, what's the worst that can happen? Mm -hmm. So that was a cool little flip to kind of like, okay, have this first perspective, but mm -hmm. then kind of change where the character was going with that. Yeah. Um, and so it, it was really fun because, you know, reading a script like this, especially when it's like, a, you know, a video team putting together YouTube videos, you kind of have in your head, okay, are they going to use like, silly cool graphics that youtube usually does or that kind of thing or like how's it gonna turn out and how it turned out honestly i really love it i i might be biased in saying that just a little bit <laughs> but uh well, i'm not it's, biased it's a fun horror movie people need to check it out um for sure it's interesting because i feel like you know actors and storytellers like yourself like they love the craft they love a lot of these things and my question now is not necessarily involving your character i do have questions about your character but there's obviously a point in the film because the film has the traditional kind of horror tropes right it has the the jump scares the gore right it has it right, right. but there was this like really interesting thing that happened in this movie that i wanted your opinion in terms of what was it like kind of being there what was it like reading it where you know Chris, played by Alec, we in, we're introduced to this character, and he's like a jerk, right? He's a bit conceited. He's full of himself and everything, right? Ryan comes in the picture, played by Gino. We then find out that, you know, um, there are there's a reason why he wants to kind of join your crew, your video crew and everything. Um, but then there's this, like, shift, which I think Alec did an incredible job with, where he goes from being the jerk to being the villain when Ryan kind of reveals with everything with Becky, his sister and everything. And I feel yeah. like that was a big kind of moment in the movie because it kind of really switched everything. Where like the perceptions with this character who we thought was maybe cocky, conceited, but had good intentions to like, he's a villain. What was that like kind of reading all of that from being a jerk to a villain? Like, I'm curious about that. Exactly. Right. So, so I think that, 
you know, in, in any relations and whether friendships, friend groups, or just in life in general, you always have these conflicts that arise. Mm -hmm. And this kind of gave our group who's like the tightest group ever of like straight out of high school, just have these company, this company, right. Just making these videos to kind of like, Whoa, what's going on. We're falling apart. Mm -hmm. This person who just came into our group is tearing us apart. Sort of kind of like fifth floor woman is tearing, right. Like whatever. Um, so that whole ordeal kind of added an element of, uh, you know, of tension between the group because it's not all happy days all yep. day in, day out. So it's kind of, uh, it added a nice element between our characters so that we could, you know, have a little bit more depth between each other versus just having like, oh, best buds, best friends, you know, going yeah. at it. But to kind of add to what you just said about this tension, it is an opportunity for these characters to be presented that they are complex and they're more kind of well-grounded where it's not just kind of your, just like a horror movie that just goes right into the jump scares and the gore, right? Like, I think that you sure. hit that pretty well too with your answer. You know what I mean? For sure. For sure. You got to have some backstory, right? I mean, of course, there's... Uh, of course, people love the bars, love the the monsters, and love to see what actually came out of it, the whole thing. But you need to have a little bit of a backstory to kind of follow along, right? There has to be a path. <laughs> now, do you have your salt shakers handy, by the way? Because <laughs> I do. Sure. They're in my bedroom. They're in my bedroom. Like I have this little like box thing, and they're they're there. They're up there just in case. <laughs> but I think that's interesting because it, you know, shows that your character does the research right like you're, you're thrown in this kind of situation where you're all making these kind of like supernatural kind of videos for the for youtube for the web and everything and your character is really kind of into it in certain moments right i feel like your character also wants to do more than he is he's just part of the team but i feel like he wants to do more do you know what i mean by that a little bit yeah uh, of course he does because he he's the true believer like yeah. in the sense in the script right He's the true believer who he actually, he, like you said, he did the research and I, for one, just myself personally, I would totally be that person who like did, does the research, has to follow step by step and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And it, because I think he knows, he knows what's coming or he thinks he knows what's coming, mm -hmm. that he wants to be more involved and wants to take charge. Yep. But he can't do that because he doesn't have that position within the group. hundred. So, you know, you know where I'm coming from then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that, that, did it read like that in the script? Like, this is someone who really wants to be involved and didn't read like that? I, th I think a little bit, but for the most part, he's also, he's, he kind of keeps to himself. He kind of yeah. does his, does his own job type thing, right? Like he has his own position, he does that, and he kind of doesn't go into anyone's way because yeah. Chris has his persona of being on camera, right? Is he's the techie girl who like deals with all the stuff. And so everyone kind of has their little area. And he doesn't want to step on anyone's feet, so to speak. A hundred percent. It is a great time for the horror movie kind of landscape right now. There's so many different movies coming out. There's so many movies that people are going back and revisiting specifically over the years. Shudder being one of them that just pumps out unbelievable kind of content in that genre as well. Just a general question. What is it like being part of like the horror movie kind of community and landscape at a time where it's really like there's a big appetite for the, that type of content right now it's awesome because it feels like there's something going on right like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh it's super fun it's 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 a totally different community and i didn't realize how tight-knit it actually is yep uh, whereas like being on set and knowing that this person actually met this other person that i've previously worked with uh mm -hmm. on on channel zero and uh, nikan tosca who is awesome to work with and it's and like these these connections are all over the place and yeah. kind of being put headfirst into it, it's a, it's a totally different experience and I really appreciate being a part of the horror community at least a little bit. <laughs> Is it? Oh, because like you worked on so many projects, whether it's one episode here, whether it's a movie, whether it's a couple episodes, and I I feel like some of them maybe you get more invested in your characters than others. You know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot. I'm a creative as well. It really is kind of like a what's the next project? You know, you work on it, it's in the can, you wait for it to come yeah. out, and it's like on to the next because that's just how it is in the industry, right? Yeah. But are you used to the idea of you filmed Elevator Game? You play the waiting game, but now it's out. 
So it's out of your hands, basically. It's disseminated into the world. Do you know what I mean? Because that could be kind of an overwhelming feeling. Are you used to that, though, over other projects you work with as well? Uh, so uh, I started when I was six years old. So I've been at this for quite a number of years. However, uh, I haven't had the privilege of being a part of a production in such uh, in such in to such an extent mm -hmm. as I have recently. Okay. And so with that in mind, yeah, it's it's different. It's different to have been so invested in the project for a month or like including pre and post, of course, and just kind of like see it out there and just kind of like, sweet, that's that's awesome. It's done. And it's like, obviously, I'm going to rewatch it over and over again. But um, but yeah, it's it's just it's just a blast, honestly, to see the final product. And, you know, the film was shot in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Are you from Winnipeg originally? Yes. Okay. Yes. So was it kind of one of those things where, you know, um, an opportunity came to be that was, you know, something shooting in Manitoba? Was it mostly like Manitoba actors in this film? So I will say that I'm very proud that it was uh, filmed in Winnipeg. And, yeah. and I am incredibly proud that it was filmed with a whole bunch of my friends and my peers. Um, the entire cast or most of the cast, if I'm if not the entire cast is local mm -hmm. and they are incredible. Honestly, I've known them over the years, you know, seeing each other in the audition room and just hanging out and all that kind of stuff. But to actually work with them is, is it was phenomenal. It was a blast. What was going through your mind when you heard that the film was going to be available on shutter? Because that was obviously a big day. And that's also right. a day where it feels like all the work kind of paid off where people are going to yeah. be able to see the craft on a big platform, you know what I mean? So like, when For did you sure. find out and what was going through your mind? For sure. So, uh, you know, going through the filming process and after filming, uh, with this being kind of my, my, one of my first kind of roles with more depth, so to speak, yep. uh, man, I was stoked. I was so excited to hopefully one day maybe go to the theater with my family and watch it all, all that kind of stuff. But when it reached shutter, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is pretty darn good like theater shutter that's like no difference at all and it's it's honestly incredible that people have the opportunity to watch it whenever they have most convenient to watch mm -hmm. it yep. and also just from the comfort of their own home and over and over and over and well, over spooky, again <laughs> spooky season right like it's yeah. the timing of this is unreal if you think exactly. about it <laughs> exactly exactly what else are you gonna do right halloween spooky season and do you enjoy watching horror movies now a lot and like after working this do you watch some more would you say it's a lot more interesting to me <laughs> because 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 now when i watch it, i don't just you know i don't just look at it as a movie as a whole but i think of everything i think of oh how they do that effect what did they do here i think of the filming and all that kind of stuff so well, you know i want to support and pop turner is a huge fan of horror movies and everything and i know all the work that you guys put into this and the at the end of the day it was a small film it was an independent film that was shot in winnipeg manitoba canada and it's on shutter and it's incredible so i have i have interviewed a lot of your cast already and i'm probably gonna interview the whole cast but i do want to yeah. say like you know i was telling like you know gino this and everything like you're part of like good company with the shutter family there's some really good movies on shutter yeah like really good movies yeah yeah it's, it, it's incredible honestly it's 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 huge like there's no other way to put it it's just huge like versus having just like a limited release or something like that to it being on shutter amongst as you say like all of these incredible films mm -hmm. and in this kind of like family of horror <laughs> so amazing and yeah. uh yeah elevator game streaming now on shutter nazari so great chatting with you thanks so much for coming on the show thank you so much it was a blast and all the best to you all the Take best care. to you too <laughs> uh, your instagram is the best way people will keep update with everything right instagram i also have a facebook and uh, x account now so yeah is yeah. it just your is it just your name it's the same username on all of them nazari d awesome well this has been pop turn if you.com slash pop turn for previous episodes you can of course catch nazari in Elevator game streaming now on Shutter. Till next time, this is Nazari and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.